Hey everyone, today we are back at Sun Camper RV in Fort Pierce, Florida, and we are looking at a Delaterra by east to west. So let's get right to it, okay? We are starting off with the two 20 pound propane tanks, and you've got an uh, electric jack, so you don't have to worry about cranking it off your truck, okay? And we come around the side here. You've got storage right up here up front. Now this doesn't have the magnet locks, so there's, uh, Lisa, go up here for just a second. See this little clip? You have to put that little clip on there to hold it up. It's not magnet, okay? Down here, again, generous storage. The opening is a little small. You could put big bins. You just have to get slightly smaller bins. If you want to do some charging, it does have a solar charger station already pre-wired in if you want to keep your batteries fresh, okay? It does have an awning. It's rather small, but it's plenty of room if you're out here with a couple of chairs, you got a nice awning, okay? It does have a step above step. Down there, nice tires. It does not have upgraded suspension though. It does have manual jacks too, by the way, so they're not electric jacks, so you're gonna have to crank these down and manually stabilize the RV when you get to where you Your spare tire, is on the back bumper so you don't have to go uh, crazy looking for it. It's there if you need it. Up above it is pre-wired for your uh, Furion back up camera. All right, so this is where your power is. It's where you connect your power. There's a little spray port here for a little nozzle outside. Now down here, you have two separate ports for your tanks. This is your gray tank and that is your black tank. You just can't see the pull because it's kind of up underneath there a little bit. Uh, not the best design, but uh, not the worst one I've seen either. All right, so let's look at the numbers. This has a gross vehicle weight of 98.63 and a cargo capacity of 1870. All right, there's one more thing I want to point out. Most RV doors these days are what are called friction hinges. Uh, this one is not. See this little thing right here? This is what you have to use to keep the door open. If you don't, the wind like today will just blow it closed on you. So um, it's a little bit, again, that's just a little old school. All right. So let's go up inside the RV. Now, right when you walk in the door, you'll see there's your control panel. Operates your slides, your awnings, turns on your hot water heater, your pump. And there's also some buttons to see um, how full your tanks and things are. Nice sofa. Now this will pull out to become a bed. All right. It's actually very comfy. And there's some sort of, I call them end tables, but there's end tables on the side with some extra storage underneath. And so they are making use of all the storage, okay? As you can see, there's also storage all the way above, all the way across, so there's some nice place to store stuff over there. So just to your left is your entertainment center. This is where your TV is. It's a 40 inch Furion LED, which is awesome. Uh, beneath it, you have a 31 inch uh, fireplace, which is great. Uh, that's my wife's favorite thing is uh, the fireplace, okay? Uh, this is also wired for sound, and so it's also plugged into the TV. Uh, so you have speakers in here, and there is some good storage behind there too, lots of storage space. All right, and directly across from the TV are these two recliners, which are really comfortable. Now what's neat is you see these straps, when you're driving down the street, these would be attached to keep the chairs from moving around. But as soon as you get to where you're going, you take them out so you can pull these out a little bit so you can recline them back. Uh, these are attached, so I can't recline them right now. So, And then across from these, is, is the, the kitchen. kitchen. Look at this big island. And it's big. It is. It's got a great big sink here. Nice stainless sink. Look at this faucet. That the is chrome faucet. That is pretty now, beefy. Across from that, we have our microwave. Um, then we have our um, free burner stove and our oven. We have our refrigerator over here. And this is a stainless Magic Chef refrigerator. A lot of storage in here. Um, we have cabinets above the microwave. We've got some drawers. There's some storage for pots and pans if you want. And look at all of these cubbies here. That's some really nice storage in here. Yeah, and on the island too, there's two big. Yeah, as well as over here. Look at this. Ooh, yeah. There's your food pantry. That is a lot of serious storage. <laughs> that is a lot of serious storage, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then across from that is your banquette. That's a nice banquette too. It is a nice banquette. And there's some storage underneath 
um, it's nice big windows, so if you're, you know, next to a, a lake or the beach or whatever, you can sit here and have your breakfast and enjoy the, uh, the sunrise or sunset, whichever yep. it happens to be. <laughs> they got the, the accordion style blinds, yep. Yes. Yeah, I know some people don't like them. They don't bother me. That's what we have in RV, uh, our RV. I, I like it. Yeah. All right, let's go up here. All right. What do we got going on in here? Oh, you know what time it is. It's time for Thomas Toilet Test. Ah! This is in a great position. It is a porcelain foot flush toilet, all right? Plenty of leg room. Left and right is great as well, so this is definitely okay. Now directly across from this is your little sink. And I mean it's a little sink. There's very little countertop space, which is just fine. But beneath here, you got a little bit of storage, a um, little bit. And then above, you got a nice medicine chest. Now it is a little bit low, so if you're tall like I am, uh, you know, you're gonna be cut off from the nose up, okay? But <laughs> If you're short, shorter than that, it'd be just fine. Now over here, this is good where you put all your linens. We talk a lot about uh, storage and bathrooms and a lot of RVs miss places to put your towels in the bathroom. But this has got a nice place for it. So let's climb in the shower. Now I gotta say, this is one of the most pleasant showers that I've been in in a while for a travel trailer. There's plenty of left and right, plenty of front and back. Um, the height is great. The only Thing, two things for me. The shower head, as you can see, is facing down here. Okay, so um, it really needs to be up much higher uh, for a tall person. Again, I mean, you can do this. It's just awkward, okay? And this door is kind of low. I mean, I love the door. My favorite door. This is the door I talk about all the time. Again, there's a link down in my description. Um, we're making a video about this door. Maybe we already did. The link will be down there. You really want this door, but it's a little low, right? I mean, if I'm in here taking a shower, there's gonna be a lot of water that splashes over. But minor things, guys. Remember, I'm six foot four, so I'm talking about the tall people, all right? Other than that, honestly, great shower. All right, so we're up in the bedroom now. Let's take a look at this. 80 by 74, two more inches and it would have been a regular king. Very, very, very close, okay? Um, lots of storage up here, guys. To the left, to the right, up above. And you've got these cute little drawers here, too. So you can put some stuff in here. And if you notice, there's also some cubbies back in here, okay? What I don't see is any power here. There is a charging station here in the front and a charging station there in the back but there's no actual major outlet, okay? Um, if you were sitting on the bed like I am, there's another cabinet right there and a little cubby. And so there's some additional storage. If you wanna add a TV, it would go right there, all right? So what do you think of this floor plan? I didn't mention it while we're out here, but right when we walked in, I had the feeling that I was in a fifth wheel. This kitchen, dining, living area sort of has a feel of being in a fifth wheel. What do you think? Do you feel like you're in a fifth wheel when you're looking at this? Let us know in the comments down below, okay? Guys, thank you so much for coming back and watching. We love all of you. If it's the first time you found us, thanks for staying. All right, until next time, everyone, be safe.